So I had a very obvious Protestant commenting on my video. Uh, I forget which video. I think it's a video where I was distressing um, do we believe in the same God? Um, you know, which God or what concept of God? It was addressing uh, the something that Auntie, like aunt, it's spelled that theist, brought up. Um, and this, this, I, I don't believe this was a troll. And I, I don't believe this was, yeah, this was not a troll. I could just tell. Uh, Protestant uh, railing against me calling Christ the Logos because he's not the Logos that you know where in scripture does he call him the Logos the Logos is a pagan idea and it's evil and everything you know um, if you go to the Blue Letter Bible you know it's a, a website blueletterbible.com you can get and see you know the text in Greek and, and you can press on each word and find it Maybe he thinks that too pagan. You know, if he's a King James only, let's go to the Strong's Concordance and look up Word. Uh, when John uses Word in in the first uh, first first line of the Gospel, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then um, we know this isn't just some other thing where he you know they're just using the word logos because it meant word and it doesn't actually they meant the literal term word nothing deeper like the concept of the logos it just you know is like it's an incarnation of the torah well this you know if you want to take that view as some protestants do well this falls apart in the epistles of john where he talks about you know the Father, the Word, and the World Spirit, and stuff like that. Um, the Epistles of John refer to Christ as Logos, and so does Paul. Yeah, so <laughs> I just think it's funny that um, <clears throat> the um, the modern day Protestants, or I, sh I should really call them, well, it's it's the group that. M comprises evangelicals, um, Pentecostals, fundamentalists, uh, and a great deal of Baptists, <laughs> it seems. I, I don't see this coming from Lutherans or Anglicans or even Methodists. I know many Orthodox Christians that have told me that uh, they see Methodists and John Wesley as, um, you know, John Wesley himself as a man unwittingly um, turning to um, teachings of the Eastern Orthodox Church and that the, the Methodists are... Um, Are a lot like us in many ways. Um, I, I I can't either endorse or denounce that. I, I don't know much about the uh, the Methodists, although I've never been I've never been uh, condemned by a Methodist like I have with the other groups. Um, but yeah, I thought that was that was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> it, but we we also must not. Uh, get bogged down in the idea that uh Paul was sp or the the evangelists uh were I know I don't know if I could say that um I was about to say the Christian idea of logos is different from the ancient Greek one but I don't know if that's correct or not um it is in a way in the fact that uh, words fail when speaking about the incomprehensible. 
again, I would be far more comfortable with an English translation that translates, that either doesn't translate and just translate as logos instead of word, or if they need to translate, translate as Tao. You know, because Westerners kind of understand that. And just like how we don't translate karma or dharma, because there's no appropriate word for it in the English language. And, you know, I believe logos is the exact same way. And that putting just the word word there cheapens it drastically. Um, all right, peace to you. And uh, again, thank you to anyone who comments. Uh, and ask, and, and especially thank you so much any, anyone who asks for me to address a topic or to answer a question um, or to make a video on something because that, I, I love doing that. That's, that means that um, I'm not making videos for nothing. I don't care about, you know, your massive views and stuff like that. But hopefully that my channel is doing something good, even if it's clearing up stuff for atheists about who we are. All right, peace to you. And uh, like I used to sign out all the time, may God save Serbia, Syria, and Ireland. And I'll say that uh, um, Russia and the Donbass as well. Uh, all right, peace to you.